Hey all, Hiba here. So uh, today's video is a bit of an educational video. Yeah, boo, I know, I know. But um, I thought this was a perfect example of how not to play a battleship. Because, uh, I mean, uh, this is just, uh, yeah, very, very interesting. Let's put it like that, right? So uh, it's a six versus six, meaning that there's no room in this game here for anyone just, you know, freewheeling and, uh, you know, not helping, not taking any initiative on, and, most importantly, not shooting at the enemy. So, <laughs> I mean, there's six ships and uh, everyone has to do their duty. There is no other way around it. And in these smaller battles here, it's very, very obvious when someone isn't pulling their weight. And uh, let's have a look in this battle. I'm not saying someone isn't pulling their weight, but uh, I'm saying let's have a look. So uh, I'm running Mikawa here with the uh, Ashikaga Teru uh, guys. I like that. It's kind of cool actually. And uh, then on the ship we have uh, like maximum turret rotation. Everything we can possibly throw at it. And a double rudder of course. And uh, you know that one and uh, also this one. <laughs> and on the ship we have three sonars, four spotters and four heels. And uh, 24. Turn time, that's really good for Yoshino. 3.1 rudder and 39 nuts. And we're sporting a 64% win rate. We keep going up in it, so uh, that's amazing. So uh, that's the build. And uh, in today's video, you are going to witness an argument over the command wheel, which is always interesting. I mean, uh, it's nothing out of the ordinary, but, uh, you know, <laughs> this one is particularly... Uh, absurd and also quite entertaining actually because i i'm sure we've all met the battleships out there they're saying oh i want intelligence data i need intelligence data and because they're sitting behind a rock they're not able to see anything and they're not able to support anyone and they're not, they're not able to do anything in the battle <laughs> so uh i already have my eye on this battleship here behind me and i'm thinking he is uh mm, I mean, the jury is still out, but uh, I am not convinced. So, uh, fine, I will cap this uh, cap here by myself under fire from, you know, half the enemy team. Okay, no problem, yeah. It's okay, you sit out there and you watch your paint. No problem at all. So, uh, on the other flank, we have another cruiser doing all the heavy lifting here. And um, it seems to be a theme in this game here. Uh, you know, in general, battleship players are the worst players in this game here. It's not even close. And I'm just going to give him a pep talk here. It's like, hey, are you are you awake? Do you know what you're supposed to do? Are you aware that you have to shoot at the enemies? Because I haven't seen your guns fire once yet. And we're two and a half minutes into the game. And there's plenty of targets. But uh, of course, like we, we don't want to get too close to the action, right? Because we are only in a battleship. So uh, it's much easier to leave the tanking to the cruisers. And uh, then once the cruisers get removed, uh, then I can reverse in my battleship and get set on fire by everybody else on the map while I'm asking for intel intelligence data and blaming everybody else on the team um, for dying. <laughs> I mean, that is not new to anyone in this game here, I'm pretty sure. So uh, now the battleship is asking for help. And I'm like, what, what do you need help with? What is, what's wrong? Like, do you need a tugboat to help you position or what? What is the problem? There's no one up there. And uh, you are sitting behind an island. You're not able to shoot at anything. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking, okay, he's asking for intelligence data. Okay, fine. Well, uh, you know, we'll, uh, I said that the jury was out on this one here. So uh, it still is. So I'm going to take, you know, a very, very risky move here on my behalf because I'm a cruiser. So I'm going to spot some ships for him. So here's a, um, a broadside Yamato. And I'm like, I could use some help now because, you know, he's broadside and uh, he is ripe for the picking. Like, the, you know, I'm not going to get a better opportunity than this. It's just not possible. And there's nothing going on. There's a salvo, but that's like... It's way too late, and it's also a total miss. And uh, I'm just like, okay, that's it. I have, uh, you know, I have tested this guy's, <laughs> you know, will to win, and his will to win is pretty low. Let's just put it like that. And he's like, oh, I don't have any intelligence data. I just gave it to you, and you wasted it. You threw it away, 
and I, you know, put my whole ship on the line to give you a cruiser and a broadside battleship to shoot at. And you did not take that chance. So uh, I am finished over here. That's it. There is no more help. The cap is taken, so uh, I'm just going to leave this battleship here because uh, if there's something that I don't like in this game here, it's players that I cannot rely on. And uh, this guy here is totally unreliable. So, uh, oh yeah, intelligence data, intelligence data. I'm not going to give you intelligence data. I just did it and you wasted it. And you're not going to get a second chance. I promise you that. So now you can sit over here and think about what you did while I go and cap something else and I'm just going to shoot at you as well because I'm very disappointed in you. So uh, yeah, I've had it. I am leaving and uh, oh, he's offended. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> because uh, I bet you would like to leave as well. But uh, now you can sit behind that island there that you've been sitting behind the whole time and doing absolutely nothing and no one is going to disturb you. Because I'm going to go and take the cap that hasn't been capped yet. And, uh, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe he'll be able to hold this one. Maybe not. Um, it doesn't really matter. Because uh, who cares, really? <laughs> Look, battleships that aren't prepared to move up at least a little bit. There's, let me just underline, there's no destroyer here. There's a Napoli and another Yamato. It's hardly, you know terrible odds especially earlier when he had a Yoshino on his side but uh, like I said that is a uh, unreliable gameplay and uh, I refuse to be a part of that so I am going to go for the B cap if I can make it there because of course everybody's shooting at me because I'm guessing the battleship is unspotted because he's sitting behind that rock there so uh, we just gotta have everyone to fire their guns and then we should be able to turn once we go dark here and uh, that's the plan. So uh, we're going to leave this guy behind and I must say I'm quite happy with him sitting over there screaming for intelligence data. Um, it, uh, it makes me warm and fuzzy inside. Because uh, who cares? So uh, we're going to leave him there in his quadrant that he has been in in the whole game. <laughs> with the whole game. So uh, anyway. Uh, the B cap seems to be the place where things will have to be sorted out in this game here because the guys over on the other flank they seem to be doing much better they actually have the reds on the run and uh, as you can see I am uh, like I'm hunted I'm like a deer over here everybody is out for me and uh, again this Yamato here is broadside now or he will be shortly to uh, the blue battleship over on the flank but uh, there is nothing going on so, so far I've seen that battleship fire one salvo, um, the one that he totally missed on the broadside Yamato. That's it. I haven't really seen any. I, I'll, I could be wrong, but in any case, he's certainly not in a position where he's able to fire his guns all the time. And uh, that's fair enough. If, that, if that's what you, you know, like to do and if that's how you like to play the game, that's fine. Just don't, you know, count on any backup from me. <laughs> But uh, anyway, let's leave that battleship alone because now the carrier has got him and again I am quite enjoying the fact that he's sitting there getting you know, hit by the carrier over and over again. Except for the fact, oh there's a salvo, there's a salvo. Did you all see that? And he did probably, I think he did 75.2 damage with that salvo there. That was excellent. Very happy about it. So the problem is that he's in a bad position there and he has been the whole game and uh, the game is now about who can secure B and then afterwards C if time allows. So uh, that means that he should be moving into the middle of the map and uh, cutting off anyone who wants to enter the B cap because then they'll have to be broadside obviously and uh, he'll have some easy pickings there. Um, but as you can see he's still sitting in the same quadrant that he's always been sitting in. Uh, I'm slowly getting riddled down here, so uh, I cannot be as aggressive anymore. And I uh, mean, you know, that's a problem. That's a real big problem. Because letting your cruisers tank like this is uh, a recipe for disaster. And uh, again, he's asking for help now. It's like, there is absolutely no way. Negative, negative, negative. Set a smoke screen. And if you look at the map, the enemies are in a wonderful position now. They're all in the middle of the map and they all have to push in towards B. 
Um, so like I said before, it's an obvious opportunity to get some uh, broadsides and instead he keeps nagging me for support and like dude I'm, bu I'm busy I'm busy trying to win this game here you can do whatever you want over there in your quadrant behind your island that you have snuggled up to for 10 minutes now and uh, I'll just do other things more constructive things and the same thing is the other cruiser on my team doing I mean uh, the cruiser is here are pulling you know the weight and uh, that happens a lot out there in the game and I'm not saying you should YOLO in in your battleships but if you leave it up to just your cruisers to cap and tank at the same time uh, that usually doesn't work out too well and I'll say we're, we're pretty lucky in this game here that uh, us two cruisers are able to pull this off here because I'm down three torpedo launchers I mean if I had all my four this wouldn't really be a problem I could just saturate this cap here with torps uh, while staying unspotted, but I only have one launcher, and uh, that is an issue. So the Yami is down for the count. We need to finish him off. So we just send a nice AC salvo, and this is very pleasing. Finish him off like that because he's been shooting at me the whole game. So oh, there's another salvo. I think I saw another salvo from the Yami over there. And oh, and he's moving. He's moving. Wow. But uh, just watch this because he's moving a little bit now. But then as soon as you know, he spots <laughs> an, an enemy ship, he'll start reversing again, and he's going to actually give the A cap to another Yamato. It's just, um, it's puzzling to say the least. So uh, we're just going to look what's going on over there. Like, I might have to intervene, but with three and a half minutes left, uh, even if I had to go over there, it there's not much I can do about it at all. The Napoli smokes up, and I don't have radar, so I can't really do anything about that. So it looks like we're going to have to give this guy the cap. But uh, as you can see, we are ahead by 600 points. So that gives us plenty of leeway here. It doesn't matter that the battleship is doing nothing over there. Because I've taken the cap and uh, we've held that cap for, you know, 12 minutes or something like that. 10 minutes maybe. Giving us lots of tickets. And uh, it's exactly the same thing over in the sea cap. You can see the cruiser over there. He also he took the cap and then he just uh, pretty much sat and waited. Uh, for the tickets to accumulate and for the enemies to make mistakes and it, that's how you win so anyway what's the lesson from this video here well it is when you play this game here and when you play it in the high tiers like that's tier 7 tier 8 and legendary tier I mean that there is not room for napping or sleeping right I mean uh, you have to be awake so when a cruiser takes a massive chance in spotting a battleship for you you should be ready So I'm just gonna get a shot off as the Yami here, hoping to get a fire on it. And again, he's like, oh, I need help, I need help. No, you don't need help. Absolutely not. Negative, negative, negative. Set a smoke screen. And uh, see how the two cruisers here, we got this Napoli here in a nasty situation because uh, he's got nowhere to go. And like, no, I'm not helping you, Mr. Battleship. You are on your own. <laughs> I mean, give it up. And uh, look how he's uh, forced to move out and uh, we've caught him here in a very nice uh, angle so he's full broadside to me and uh, it's on purpose I'm sticking to AG because uh, I have trouble getting Napoli's uh, Citadel with Yoshino I'm not really sure why but uh, I don't know but anyway just stick to high explosives here so we got a fire on him now and that'll doom him because that's a perma fire so uh, we're just gonna you know shoot at him just for you know measure and as you can see over at the A cap, um, the, the battleship is giving away the cap to the pushing battleship. He's not even making an effort. He's just reversing and giving it away. <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Anyway, that's the end of the battle. And as you can see, the two cruisers have been tanking everything. The two dreadnoughts say that while the battleships are, yeah, less, you know, impressive. Uh, and I don't know how he made it to third place. I think it's because the carrier kept, kept uh, getting getting at him. So he shut down a lot of planes, which is, you know, a passive thing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you out there.